Talk of a possible takeover of housing finance by Equity Bank emerged over two weeks ago after the bank allegedly engineered a boardroom coup that saw three directors, including former chairman Kungu Katabaki, leave the company under unclear circumstances. Indeed, only last week, Equity Chief Executive James Mwangi gave indications that the bank was keen on upscaling its mortgage business but denied any schemes to have its way by influencing decisions at the housing finance board. We can only hope that that is what they are debating. <laughs> if that is what they are debating, it will be very good for us. They will have a willing partner from Equity Bank. Yesterday, Housing Finance confirmed the appointment of Steve Mainda as the new chairman to settle nerves of anxious shareholders ahead of the annual general meeting. But despite the action, shareholders were still jittery over the exact nature of equity's interest in housing finance. What was very good to see from the floor and from the majority of shareholders that nobody wants to hear about a takeover. That is worrying shareholders. And I think we have made it very clear what we have, and it's not just with equity, with also British American, is we have a tripartite collaboration. The meeting also approved a proposal by the board to pay dividends online to clear a backlog of over 100 million shillings held in the company's dividend accounts. Henry Gedaiga, Citizen Business.